Hi guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement downloading option in Flutter. So let's get started. So here I have created a new Flutter project in my Android Studio IDE and named it as Flutter Downloading Example. And I have removed the default code that is the counter code and simply added an elevated button at the center of my screen. Okay, so let's get started. So to implement downloading option in Flutter, we are going to make use of a library or a package called as Flutter Media Downloader. So just go to pothspecification.yaml file and under dependency section we need to add that so just add flutter media underscore downloader okay so just add this package and hit the pop get button so that this package will get installed in your flutter project as an external library now this package needs some permissions like internet access for downloading the data and storing it into the device's memory we need storage permission so we need to enable that so just go to android folder app sources main here you will get the file called as android manifest so just open this file and in this manifest tag over here you must add use permissions use this permission one is write external storage so that the downloaded files get down uh, stored into the devices and another is internet access so internet access we need to add and then another we need is a uh, read external storage okay okay so just convert it into read over here and here uh, we also need to show a notification that the data was downloaded into the devices so we need notification permission so just add okay so these are the four permissions that are required for this dependency to work perfectly okay so just add that in android folder okay so now let's start the coding thing so once we have the implemented or added this file we just need to use it so import download flutter down media downloader dot that okay so as this uh, package will communicate with the native code we must enable the widgets for that so here widget binding we need to do ensure initialize okay and we must make this main function as a synchronization okay so before uh, running our flutter application we must uh, enable this so that our flat uh, this download manager code will be able to communicate with the native code okay so just add that thing and now here in this uh, stateful widget over here we must create an instance of this so we can just do it like final underscore flutter download i can name it as equal to media download okay and now by making use of this instance we can just implement it over here so now this function will make use of uh, internet calls and get the, down the data downloaded from the internet we must make this function as a synchronization okay so this is on press function so just make this function as a sync flutter download dot download media here we must pass con context and the URL from which you want to download the data. So what I will do is I will just get the data from the internet, uh, like some PDF file or other thing. Okay, so let's check if I get any tutorial PDF or other thing. Okay, so let's check if this works or not. I will just copy this URL and paste it over here. Okay, so now when I but press on the button, it should work. So first of all, let me stop this application fully. Okay, so the app got installed again, and let me check, show you the notification. So this is, I'll just clear it. So when I press on this button, it should work. It should download the data from the internet, and it should show a notification. So let's wait. It may depend on the file size. So it is showing that PDF download was successful okay and it got stored over here so it did not show the notification okay, so let's open a file and let's check okay so you can see it has downloaded it so you can see i have just made use of that url but it did not show the notification so let me check why so the notification is off this application do not send notification okay uh, i have just set the permission but i don't know why it is not showing the notifications uh, yeah so over here it is notifications s s was missing so that is the reason it was not showing it 
so we'll just install it uninstall it again okay reinstall it again now okay so now when i press on this button so let's check it so it is showing me the, to allow the no permission for notification so i'll just allow it okay so you can see i got the notifications over here so it is just downloading it okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you